Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, feel free to write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding to this video or any other videos that I have posted in the past. If you have any videos that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. The reason I post a video each day because I want to demonstrate to you how simple home cooking could be, but at the same time, uh, it will also allow you to cook so many different types of dishes that give you a lot of flexibility and also variation that your food will never be boring. But you can make all of this happen in less than 20 minutes. Now today is a good example. This is a dish that I cook uh, for my wife and I for dinner, and this involves chicken. Now the way how I cook chicken is that uh, I coat the chicken first with cornstarch, which I'll explain to you a little bit later, uh, why this is a good way uh, to keep the chicken moist and tender. But more importantly is that I can have chicken anytime I want, uh, because I prep chicken in advance. Uh, as soon as I got the chicken back from the supermarket, I will cut them up uh, into the size that is good for stir frying. And then I freeze them. And I also freeze them in uh, 8 ounce portions uh, in a thin layer so I can thaw them out in less than uh, 10 minutes. The consequently, I can have chicken anytime I want and I'm able to go into the refrigerator or go into the freezer and have the chicken all ready to go. Now I'm going to cook this uh, dish in my Cucina 14 inch stainless steel wok. Now I like this uh, wok for one important reason because it has a large flat bottom surface area. Now a lot of people ask the question is that is a uh, flat bottom wok uh, compared to a round bottom wok, uh, is it better? And uh, my answer is that a flat bottom wok is much better than a round bottom wok, particularly uh, a flat bottom wok frequently known as a wok pan. And the reason is very simple, because when you have a wok pan, you have a large flat bottom surface area. This will allow you to spread out your food ingredients, particularly if you want to fry them lightly uh, before you start stir frying them. Now this is an approach which actually uh, make, particularly in the case of meat, it will allow you to seal in the flavor uh, of the meat. So as you sh uh, sh see here, is that I lay out the chicken into a flat layer on the surface of the wok. And since I coat the chicken with cornstarch, it actually will create a light crispy texture. The cornstarch also play another important role. Uh, it will seal in the flavor of the chicken and make the chicken more moist as well as tender. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this method which allow me to fry the chicken briefly, but this is only possible if you have a flat bottom wok, uh, such as in this case with this Cuisinart 14 inch stainless steel wok. As I mentioned before, uh, they call it a wok pan. Now this allow me to uh, briefly fry the chicken before I stir fry them. And again, like I said, um, this will uh, create a uh, slightly crispy texture and also um, give me a more flexibility of how I want to cook the chicken. Now there are times I may not want to do this, then I can stir fry everything together or at once. You can do uh, this type of frying in almost any type of uh, protein that you would like. You can do it with pork, beef, shrimp, and all of this provide a very nice uh, advantage. Okay, now the chicken is about lightly fried, and it, like I said, it only takes about uh, uh, about a minute or so. Okay, now next I'm ready. I'm going to add other ingredients. Now this dish is designed to be um, with many different type of vegetables in it. In fact, I'm going to use about uh, five different kind of vegetables. Uh, I start out with some shiitake mushroom, which is a dry shiitake mushroom that have been dehydrated. I hydrate and I always have some available, and this is followed by some green bean, uh, carrot, and broccoli. The best thing about eating vegetables is that to able to eat different kinds of vegetables in the same dish. And I call them a vegetable medley. Now this type of dish has one advantage, is that it allow you uh, to able to combine different kinds of vegetables in the same dish. 
like everything else, variation uh, usually brings much better interest and better flavor uh, to a dish. Uh, as you all know, when you eat a salad, you prefer to have multiple ingredients in a salad rather than just one or two, because the more ingredients that you have, uh, the more likely that you're going to find something in the uh, vegetable dish to be interesting and enjoyable. And in fact, uh, there is a well-known effect is that uh, if you have multiple vegetables combined together, some of vegetables you might not really enjoy, but because they uh, have different type of flavor and texture, uh, they create a contrast. And the end result is that you enjoy them far more. Now, in this particular dish, you notice that I add the four different vegetable ingredients at about the same time uh, because they take about the same amount of time to cook. And uh, they do not need to cook very long at all. And in this case, as you notice that uh, uh, I keep the burner at a setting at high and as long as I constantly stir all the ingredients, I do not have to worry about things getting burned at all. And, and by now, the chickens as well as the other vegetables is almost done. So I had the last uh, ingredients that I want, uh, which is some red cabbage. I only add a small amount of red cabbage because I mainly want to use it as a condiment. I'm going to season the dish with a small amount of oyster sauce, probably about half a tablespoon. The oyster sauce is mainly uh, used to enhance the natural flavor of the food ingredients. This dish already has great flavor uh, from different type of vegetables that are present in it. Uh, after I do the taste test, I'm going to also add a small amount of hoisin sauce. Now, hoisin sauce has a sweet flavor. A lot of time, uh, particularly with uh, vegetable stir fry, sometimes a light slipness will really enhance the flavor of the dish. Okay, now the dish is almost done, and I would like to create a light sauce. So I'm going to add a small amount of water. Now, while I added water, I actually um, use a water squeeze bottle. I add water directly uh, at the part of the wok that I saw something that might be stuck and burned to the bottom surface of the wok. And uh, this is actually a good way to clean the wok uh, while you try to achieve the goal in making a sauce. And of course, uh, by dissolving the material that at the bottom of the wok, uh, you can return them to, to the flavor of the dish. And I call this method spot cleaning. Uh, basically, I cleaning the uh, wok at the same time as I am cooking. And at this point, I usually do a final taste test uh, to make sure the texture of all the food ingredients is the way how I want to be. I want to make sure that the chicken is properly cooked. And I also uh, want to make sure the other vegetables ingredients with the texture that I want now you notice that when I cook this dish, uh, I add different ingredients at different time points. And that's the beauty of stir frying, is that you can cook many ingredients uh, in the same wok at the same time. And the reason for that is that because you can add the ingredients at different time points during the cooking process. Ingredients you want to cook longer, uh, you can add them in the beginning of the cooking process. And in this case, the chicken, which I want to make sure that it is properly cooked. So I add the chicken right in the beginning, and I cook the chicken to about 50% done uh, before I start to add other food ingredients. Now, the other food ingredients I add, uh, the green beans, the broccoli, as well as the carrots, all of this uh, require about the same amount of cooking time. And so in this case, uh, I can add them all at the same time. Uh, but if you want any of these ingredients cooked with a slight different texture, then you can adjust the timing. Okay, uh, now the dish is done, but actually it's not quite completely done because you can still make modifications and make changes to the dish and add additional food ingredients. In this case, I'm going to add some uh, a fresh color bell pepper. They're miniature bell pepper, and I add them toward the end uh, because I like the bell pepper to be fresh. Instead of uh, cooking it, uh, this will allow me to maintain the texture of the bell pepper. As this is a demonstrate, uh, demonstration of that uh, you can continue to modify your dish. And last but not the least, I'm going to garnish the dish with some uh, fresh scallions. Now, home cooking is really a matter of uh, creativity, but it also is a matter of uh, what is available to you. 
and because of advanced prepping, I have all these ingredients available to me. And then I'm finally going to top off the dish with some cashew nut. So you can see that this dish uh, actually turned out to be much more complex than what it might appear on the surface, even though it only takes just a few minutes to cook. And this is where preparation is so important. And because of advanced prepping, it is possible for you to use many different types of ingredients in a single dish. And if you do not use up all these ingredients, you will be able to use it the next time, but you can use it in different combinations. This will allow you to create a variation from this initial dish. And by making substitutions, you can uh, using this basic template to create many variations. And this is the reason I want to demonstrate to you how simple home cooking can be if you have a little bit planning, a little bit organization. Okay. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking and I will see you tomorrow.